All right, guys, so we got a lot done in the past couple days. Um, we got the majority of this floor all leveled. I'm waiting until I put the vapor barrier and spray foam this crawl space until I sister these studs so I have room and I'm not really struggling. But um, I did the kitchen cabinet layouts. So I suggest to never buy things at an auction because it's not custom you're going to run out of material and you're not going to know where to find the material to finish the job so i just made this work it's not going to be perfect like a custom kitchen but it'll look decent so um we got the sink here centered on the window um a 36 inch base a two and a half inch filler and then a 24 inch pantry which is eight foot tall uh, then we got a 24 upper tying into the pantry then we got over here a 15 inch three drawer uh, 30 inch stove 24 inch base the lazy susan and then you come around we got a 18 inch base a two and a half inch filler a 30 inch base and then the fridge so then coming back for the uppers, we're going to have the 36 inch upper above the fridge, a 30 inch upper, 15 inch upper, a 18 inch upper, and then we got the corner upper, and then a 36 inch upper, a 30 inch upper um, by 24 inch above the stove with a vent, um, and then this window, and then the 24 inch upper. So um, this window is too low. It's about 35 inches. You need at least 37 inches from the subfloor up. And that will not be including window trim. So then you got to add another at least 3 inches. So I'm going to eliminate this one. Well, replace this window with a sh um, shorter one and probably smaller. Uh, this window is getting eliminated 100% and this one's eliminated 100% and then that one's going to get updated. So I didn't update or eliminate no windows upstairs. I made it work because um, basically it can't depend on no one. So this is all ground level and I could replace the siding from the outside by myself. So yeah. So uh, right now what I'm going to do is relocate this gas line. The stove used to be right here. The sink used to be right there, so the sink is not going to be right here. Um, the gas line is going to get rerouted right here, and I got to put a, a hole for the vent. And then the ice maker is going to be right here for the fridge. So today what I'm working on is relocating the gas line. I'm going to get that vapor. Well, I got to get this cross place. Um, it had fiberglass insulation as you can see right here and there was rats living in it and it stinked really bad so what i'm gonna do is i got um my vapor barrier and spray foam so i'm a vapor barrier the dirt ground up the walls spray foam the floor and up around and then i might put um foam insulation between the floor joists and probably won't need it because of the spray foam um out here in my backyard i got a deck going up and then right here on the other side outside i'm gonna put a sink for barbecues um i already got the gas line for barbecues so i'm gonna have the hot and cold and a drain ran out there with a electrical outlet and i'm gonna set up a built-in barbecue on the exterior of my house so i gotta run the hot and cold in a drain before i spray foam and encapsulate that so it's just a lot of thinking ahead and um yeah once i spray foam and i get this all the floor sister then i'll start putting the plywood down through the whole floor um this vent right here whoever installed this is an idiot because it's a return vent so i gotta cancel it out all the way back cap it um it's it was right there and they insulated an air return, which you don't do. And then they insulated this gas line. You don't insulate a gas line. Gas doesn't freeze. So that's what I'm working on for today. 
And then I'm gonna start. I decided to knock down this wall. This used to be a pantry, so I'm gonna um, combine this pantry with the bathroom and do first floor laundry, built in closets, and then the bathroom will be bigger. And then we got over here, I gotta reroute this ductwork. This is my ductwork to the upstairs, and this wall gets knocked down and it's getting pushed back. And I'm gonna keep this a uh, two bedroom, but split the difference so they're both evenly sized rooms. And then once I'm done with all that framing, I can start all the electrical and plumbing insulation and then throw up the board. So, all right.